Hey guys, Phil Luxa, you're back with our blind playthrough of Corpse Party. Mmm. Trying not to yawn. It's not working, obviously. But to be fair, I haven't I've only had like one cup of coffee today, so we need to have a little bit more. Alright, so last time we kind of explored this abandoned bomb shelter a little bit. And we're getting some more backstory now, which is good. Taguchi is, well, probably dead, but potentially still alive. All right, what was, uh, what was down here? Was this... Okay, I didn't come down here before. I came down from that other, or I came up from that other passway, passageway, saw that, and I was like, all right, cool. The way to go forward, I think, is following the blood. Big Brother, hopefully these are bathrooms, but maybe not. Does she still have to go? Or, no. I don't know. Big Brother? Mm. Oh, bathroom. Want to give it a shot? Don't. Yeah. Are you... Really? Be careful where you step, okay? You don't want to check first? Have you learned nothing? Okay. Really? There's... Oh, crap. Oh, are they going to do this now? Now Yuka dies. How do we know these are bathrooms? Anyway, they look like stairs. Right? Like, what? was there a sign or something? So in the original Yuka, I, I've said this like a million times already, but Yuka dies... Because she goes to the bathroom, and then Naomi saves her. Okay, where's Naomi? Oh! Oh, I was supposed to be reading that out loud. Yuka, you in here? <laughs> Yuka, you in here? Yeah, okay, just checking. Kya, what's wrong? Oh no. Sorry, I just got a little startled. Something looks like blood started pouring into the toilet. I thought I was going to overflow. Okay, so she's having her period, I guess. That's... Not good. Try to finish up and get out of there quickly, okay? Okay. Oh, wait. Naomi ran off, right? But... When we loaded, did we have two? Or did we have three? Maybe we had three. Maybe we had two. Right, because we saw Seiko and Naomi freaked out. I think, I think, I can't remember. It's been a few days. And she chased Yoshikazu, I think, who's dragging her body and maybe has Taguchi as well. Naomi, where did you go? Why is it that just your absence is enough to make me feel so alone? Oh, Ayumi, you're... Big brother, it's okay. You should cheer up. I'm here for you. I'll protect you. You know, we don't have the bottle of caramel beads anymore, do we? For some reason. I guess it didn't carry over. Hmm? Damn it, I let my guard down. I must have a really sour expression on my face for her to say something like that. I guess she's worried about me again. Thanks, Yuka. You're, you're a good girl. Just be like, I'm just worried about the others. That's what you say. I'm just worried about everyone else. I hope they're okay. You're a good girl. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's the head padding, I assume. What's with head padding, anyway? What's the, uh. Sigh. Why are you asking about that? Don't you like Naomi? You, because they're a boy you like? Eh? Why do you ask? 
I just want to know. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. There is a really cool boy in my class. Right, she's... It's a lie because she's in love with uh, her brother, I guess. I see. Are you going out with him already? That's not really any of your business, big brother. Besides, how could I ever go out with a boy? It's scary. Uh, well, I hope you can at least work up the courage to tell him how you feel at some point. That's where I need the most help, myself. I still haven't said a thing. But really, she's always getting into it with me, always getting violent and controlling as soon as she sees me. And whenever I state my opinion, she always counters with the opposite opinion and does a much better job of justifying it to boot. She's strong-willed and she's ornery. But if I ever lost her, I'd feel so alone, I might as well be dead. Yuka's like, he doesn't love me. I didn't realize it until she ran off just now, either. I didn't realize that I'm in love with her. Naomi must still be somewhere in these tunnels. She has to be alive. She has to be. You know, honestly, I think one of the greatest love stories in video games is probably uh, Odin's Sphere. With uh, Oswald and Gwendolyn. Plus, the drawings are amazing. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Big brother. This dude's just... Like, everybody loves him. Uh, okay, just to make sure. And we'll go back into the other room just to make sure nothing's changed. Because there was a scene. Okay, so finally she gets to go to the bathroom at least. Like, in a normal bathroom. Mmm... Um, I... Right. Okay, there you go. It was just the two of them, and it used to be the three. So I'm going to save here, just in case somehow doing that scene makes things bad. You know, potentially like in in Dark Souls, if you finish a character's questline, they die. Because they no longer have anything to pursue, and that pursuing that goal is what keeps them from going hollow, basically. Alright, let's follow the blood. It stops here. Pant, pant. Huh? The trail of blood from Shinohara's body. It stops here. But why? Pant, pant. Why are they panting? Uh, well, we have a 50-50 shot, assuming that he didn't just, like, teleport somewhere. Let's try going to the left. Right. They crawled through the incinerator and then something happened. Yoshiki might be dead. Okay, so Yumi's like, er. Earth, what the? Where? Why? Why are there so many bodies? Sob, gag. Wait, Kishinuma. Kishinuma, are you here? That might be his body to the left. The one missing the head. It's hard to tell, though. Ah. Oh. No, please, no, Kishinuma. Sub, why? Why do I have to be all alone in here? No, no, he couldn't be. Is he in here with me after all? Hmm. Maybe we should have gone to the right? Maybe it didn't matter. Whale. Hey! Don't even think about killing me off just yet. Oomph! Kishinuma! Before I realized it, I got stuck going down a different chute. Almost wound up in the pool. That would have been a real pain in the ass. You okay, Shinozaki? Uh-huh. 
So, were there trap doors or something? Can I go in there? Remains of a female student are floating in the water. Well, there's one body. We got shoes. Shoes are lined up at the foot of the pool as if the deceased had willfully leapt. It's supposed to be leapt, not leaped to their doom. Or, right? It's leapt, I think. It doesn't matter. Yet another decaying corpse. No name tag. Cheating me out of these name tags. A half dissolved corpse is floating in the water. There's no name tag. They do that just to tease you, I imagine. Yet another decaying corpse. Appears to be the corpse of a senior high school student. Another decaying corpse. Do we get... Yep, all these are victims. Corpse of a senior high school student. High school student. Well, senior high school. Alright, we'll wait for these to scroll through. Oh, that's all of them? That was fast. See, now I want to kind of like quit and reload and try going to the right. But maybe it doesn't matter. We'll see. We'll keep going. Cotton trap bled out. Blunt force trauma and multiple fractures died from pain. Um, okay. You don't... Probably just bled out. Uh, slit wrists along with friends under pretense of performing reincarnation ritual bled out. Jesus. Uh, let's see. Died in sleep alongside beloved. Well, that's good. Drowned in pool of decomposing corpses. Woof. Tea ceremony aficionado with an unwavering countenance even in death. That's a little odd. Comforted, comforted friend with smiles and optimism until dying breath eventually withered away. I feel like we've seen that one before. Uh, oh, Sayaka. Okay, yes. Died under myster mysterious circumstances while searching for companion. That was Naho's friend that came in with her. Took hit from blunt instrument for friend. Died of injuries. Believed in power of friendship until dying breath. Eventually dehydrated. Withered away from dehydration. That's got to be a really bad way to go. Dehydration, I mean, because it's like you're thirsty. Oh! Yoshiki and Shinozaki. Pant, pant. Mochita. And Yuka, too. Good to see you guys. Uh-huh. Pant, pant. So what would have been... I don't know if going to the right would have mattered. You two okay? You're out of breath. Naomi, Naomi went after this monster that took Shinohara's body and she got separated from us. Nakashima is missing? Miss Yui, too. God. Satoshi et al. So, Satoshi and others. Alright, so. We have all of these things now. That makes sense. So, let's. That looks like another room. Let's try going to the... Oh, we're slowing down for some reason. Satoshi and Yuka, pant, pant. Oh, so it's another cutscene, no matter what. Interesting, but this maybe assumes that we're not with the others. Naomi, Naomi where are you? Nakashima or... No, okay. Pant, pant. Sure is dark in here, gulp, wheeze. Or maybe, maybe they just kill you. Pant, pant. Ah. Pant, pant. What's wrong? Over there, there's a person. Hmm? She's right. There is somebody standing just ahead. Is that Naomi? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Naomi. Naomi, is that you? Naomi. Naomi. Nakashima. It is now me. Man, you really had us worried. Is she darkened? 
Is she alive? Naomi. Naomi? Uh, she's got Seiko's body, and was she laughing or eating it? <laughs> Is Naomi trying to kill us? Huh. Unexpected. I guess she was successful at killing us. Wow. Number five. I guess. Let's, uh... Oh, crap. So we skipped that scene. Um... Let's load this one. We'll try going to the right, seeing if there's a different scene or if we just... <laughs> Stops here. Blood. What's this sensation? I get the feeling that we're not supposed to go this way. Interesting. So it's like you can't go this way yet. What if, okay, hang on, let's quit. I wanna see what happens if we uh, continue. I'm trying to get some of this stuff out of the way now. We're gonna not go down. We're gonna go up and maybe to the right because I wanna see if it changes anything. Stops here, trail of blood, but why? Right? That's what it said. We're not supposed to... I... Okay. No problem. Yes. Alright. Load. We're gonna load. Uh, this one. Hopefully... Man. I really hope it doesn't screw us. The... Who do you like? Oh, I love a boy in my class, because that's that was one of the things. You know, that ended it in, uh... Okay, we'll just skip all this. The whole, like, Yuka's dying confession thing. Did I miss any of these? I don't know, we'll double check anyway. No name tag. Because, screw you, that's why. Okay, I think that was all of them. Alright, let us... I guess we go up. I mean, we have no other choice unless we go in here and, and take another look. But it looks like everything is good. Like, no other items or anything. Um, yeah, I mean, the save was pretty recent. We don't need to... Naomi, Naomi please be okay. And there's a save point right there. Oh. So she is still alive. Seiko, Seiko, Seiko where are you? I won't let them hurt you anymore. I'll protect you. It's... Oh, there's the TV! Wait, is this... Ooh, that was weird. Static over the whole screen. I mean, obviously, for whatever purposes, but... Huh? Is it gonna show us the Sin tape? Oh. Ayumi. Ah, uh, Yuki, you're here. Does it mean you still have control over your will? Ayumi, don't give in. Huh? You've been stricken with the darkening. Its effects are beginning to take hold of you. There's still time to stop it, but you must hurry. 
She's here, just beyond the next room. Whether or not you'll be able to return to your own world depends entirely on her. Go, quickly. Wait, what about Naomi? We can't leave without her. She's fighting her own demons right now. Ah. If she can overcome them, if she's able to resist her own darkening, she'll be along. Got it. I guess, I mean, I guess we'll see. It should be possible to appease even Sachiko. Make certain you're ready. Ready to fight. I really hope not. I really hope it's not the RPG maker thing. I still don't know what the hell's going on in this godforsaken place, but I've come way too far to back down now. I'm in this till the bitter end. We understand. Come on, everyone. Let's do this. Just remember, the way out lies with Sachiko. You must find a way to get through to her, to touch her heart. Well. Bomb shelter depths. Let us... I'm going to try and go back. I'm going to try and go to the right. No, we've come too far to turn back. Now, When if we run away, everything that's happened to us so far will have been for naught. We have to keep moving forward no matter what horrors await us. There you go. Murder scene. So that's probably Yoshikazu's body. Oh. Erk. There's a rotting corpse hanging from the ceiling. It's Yoshikazu Yanagi Hori. That's it. I get control again. That was the cutscene, sort of. There's a rotting corpse. No, uh, well, I guess no name tag. Hmm. Er. Her darkening. Er, big brother, my head hurts. Yuka. Yuka. Those aren't good sounds. What's that? That's no good. Whatever is going on. Ah. Ah, is that Sachiko? Oh no, that was the dirt, I guess, being dug, right? So that's her body, the three other ghosts. I told you to stay away. Don't come any closer. Don't look at me. She's red. Sachiko, Sachiko, please, listen. We... Leave. Please believe me, we mean you no harm. Leave or I'll kill you. Damn it, we're not getting through to her. Sachiko, this is yours. It's part of your body that was taken from you. Open your eyes, please. Offer Sachiko's tongue? Well, of course. Presumably, if you don't have it at this point, she kills you, and you get another wrong end. Offer Naho's notebook. Why? I mean, I guess so. White Sachiko. Mommy, you promised. Maybe it's not Naho's notebook. Maybe it's, um, the mother's notebook. I don't know. Mommy, you promised. Your mom's been suffering just as much as you have. The things you're doing aren't making her happy at all. Offer Black Cat Plushie. Sure. Maybe you need all of these items. Offer mini DV sin tape. I I guess. Pant pant pant. What happened? 
どうなったんだ I don't understand what offering the sin tape does, but whatever. It's it, you know, I assume you need all the things. I hope I have them all to appease her or whatever. But we'll see. Pant Pant, what happened? Doesn't something seem off? Don't tell me we failed. Shinozaki. Ah, she has scissors. Big brother, behind you. Huh? Ah. Uh, and Yuka's covered in blood, too. Ah. Uh, oh, and Yoshiki is darkening as well, I suppose. Oh, that's no good. Okay. Wrong end. Okay, so maybe you only have to offer the tongue and the black cat plushie and not the notebook and the sin tape, because I don't know... I mean, other than that, I have no idea, you know? <laughs> it's just like, okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's, all right. Uh, label just says sin. Okay, black cat plushie, literally coming apart at the seams. I know that this is hers and I know the tongue is hers. Oh, I don't see anything. Like we took the the mother's notebook, but it didn't say anything. So I guess let's. All right. Can I? All right. So there we go. We'll skip all of this stuff. Leave. Leave or I'll kill you. Let's go. Offer the Sachiko's tongue. Yes. Offer Naho's notebook. No. Mommy, you promised. Ron's been suffering. Offer black cat plushie. Yes. Mini DV sin tape. No. Who? Where's my mommy? Where am I? I can move again. Does that mean it's working? Sashko, ah! Come on, everyone, take out your paper doll scraps. Got it. All right. Okay. Such go here or please. That's what appeases her. Unless it's the whole thing of putting her back together. We want to go home. That's what charms really are. They represent our regards for other people. <laughs> They're like microcosms of the soul, right? You and your mom both suffered such horrible fates, but all we want to do is free you from that suffering. Chant or don't chant? Presumably chant. Unless don't chant is wait for Naomi. But, uh, let's try chanting. Sachiko, we beg of you. Oh. Right, how many times? Four. One per person plus one for Sachiko, so five times. Sachiko, we beg of you. That's two. Sachiko, we beg of you. Each of them is taking a turn, right? So that's three. Sachiko, we beg of you. One more. Sachiko, we beg of you. That should be it. Too bad about Naomi, I guess. It's okay, it's nothing serious. I'll use my ribbon to help stop the bleeding. Hopefully that should be enough. How did, uh... Did, uh, Yuka get hurt? Ayumi, thank you. Yuka? 
We did it. Well, Yuki. Now is your only chance to escape the veil between your world and this school. It is as is at its thinnest. The gate is open. You need to hurry and get outside the building before it closes. Complete the ritual. Once it closes, this nexus will return to the way it was, and you'll have lost your chance to get out. What? So what's going to happen to all of you then? It appears we've become a part of these spaces. Sachiko was the only one among us who could be saved. Whoa. That's kind of ironic, given that Sachiko is the one that created it. Sort of. No, not really, right? Because the mother was... in it. Maybe it was the mother that created it. After all, she was the spiritualist. Right now I'm free, but it's not going to last. Soon I'll continue shaping this place, just as I always have. No. The school has already begun creating a new Sachiko. Please, go. Get out of the building while you still can. Alright, oh! She's turning into Sachiko with the red clothes. Whoa! Eek! Hurry, we have to find a way out! Uh, going where, though? There's no real exit to this place. The covered walkway, maybe? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we can't save, so... Do we try going to the right? What happens if we go this way? Does it get... does it screw us? Oh, you can't go that way. Somewhere in the distance a bell tolls. Sounds like the hour tone of a grandfather clock. Great. I... who knows if it's actually... wait, what was... There's no reason to go back in here. Oh, cr well, maybe that's what we want. Or not. The bell tolls again. Oh, what's this? Student ID name tag lying in the ground. Yeah, I can't, uh, I don't actually, oh crap. Is it timed? I don't remember. The third toll. I don't think this is the right way. It is not. Well, we'll get as far as we can. Is down the right way? Maybe? No. Fourth toll. Son of biscuits. <laughs> yeah, not a shock. Fifth toll. No name tag this way, though. Um... Right, but now where? The walkway, right? Which was down, I think. Number six, the air is beginning to feel thicker now. I think this is the right way? Maybe? Here we go, we can continue on from here. We made it. All we have to do now is climb over this fence and we're home free. Okay. Oh. Big brother, what's wrong? That appears to be Naomi. Oh. Naomi, it's Naomi. Naomi, it's Naomi. Yuka's gonna get killed. Huh? Big brother, wait. He's making the... Naomi, I knew it. I knew you were still alive. 
Oh, that's uh, Yoshikazu. Ah, Sadoshi. Big brother. Don't scare me like that, please. If I ever lost you. See? He's an idiot. It's the accomplice, and he's holding a pair of scissors. And why is Satoshi so... Like, he should have he should have seen the movement out of the corners of his eye, but uh, all right. Big brother! Uh. Well, I'm not sure what happened there. Did he stab her from behind? Like, what? Ah, you can know. And they both ran away? Yuka, Yuka! Yuka, come on, pull yourself together! I'm... <sighs> so, at least in this one, the the bell hit six. It didn't hit twelve or or whatever, and then and then there was a five minute long cutscene of of the death. But also if Yuka's still alive, get her over the railing and she can die in the real world so she won't be bound in the school for eternity. You know what I mean? Yuka, say something. Please. I just don't know how she died. Like, she ran up behind the zombie dude and then all of a sudden, oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm like... Okay, it's like... It's like getting stabbed with the handle of something. It's like it doesn't make sense. Big brother. Yuka, stay with us. Big brother. I'm so sorry, this is all my fault. I, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to ruin what's supposed to be an emotional moment, but I'm like, I don't I don't understand how it happened in the first place. I keep telling you, you're not too bright, big brother. Yuka, your stomach. I didn't realize the wound was this deep. It's okay, I won't die. Also, how did she get wounded? Because there's the whole, like, oh, take my ribbon, you know. It's okay, I won't die. If I died, you'd be all alone, big brother. So don't worry, Irk. Yeah. Yuka. Sorry, big brother, for lying to you. Lying? Remember when I told you there was a boy I liked in my class? Yeah, I remember. The boy I like isn't from my class. There's nobody. Nobody for me but you, big brother. I love you, big brother. More than Naomi does. More than anyone. I love you. See, I wonder if we hadn't gone down if we'd avoid... Like, if Yuka wouldn't die had we done that. I guess... I have no idea if we'll see or not. Yuko, what are you... But when we're at home, all you ever talk about is Naomi. You don't care how I feel. What are you saying? I love you too, Yuko. We're family, after all. Wasn't this a choice? In the original? Like, you choose whether he gets to return her feelings at the very end? And it's like, yes, I love you as... Well, I don't think he said as a woman, but he's like, I love you, or I love you like family, or something. And I think I chose I love you like family, and then she comes for him at the end. Like Like I'm gonna I'm gonna pull you back into the world. What are you saying? I love you too, Yuka. We're family after all. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Not as family, not as brother and sister. I just love you. I really, really Ugh. Yuka. Yuka. Man, her stomach is really bleeding. The wound just keeps getting bigger. Well, Shove your hand in it or something. I mean, seriously. Stuff the wound with whatever you can and just keep stuffing it. Even if it hurts, you know, shove cloth in there until it... You know, if you can at least slow it down, you can maybe get her to a, a hospital or a surgery or something like that.
Isn't there anything we can do for her? God damn it. Big brother, Satoshi. I mean, hell, presumably, it depends on how big she is, right? But if you, if she's got a wound in the stomach, you could probably put, like, a bunch of cloth in there or whatever. And, uh, whatever, don't worry about infection because they'll die from bleeding first if you don't get that under control. So you put that all in there. And then you could probably just, if she's really small, kind of, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the microphone, but maybe just kind of fold her in half a little bit. Like, if you're... The arms carry is super difficult because you're carrying, like, weight in your arms. But, you know, if you kind of scrunch it together and, and kind of compress the flesh against the cloth that's in the wound, it might help with the bleeding. I have no idea, but... Yeah. Big Brother Satoshi, what is it? What are you trying to say? I don't care if it's a lie, just please tell me you love me too. Just say it. Say it or don't say it. I do love you. I love you so much, Yuka. Big brother. I love you too, big brother. Yuka's eyelids fell closed slowly and unwillingly, never to open again. Her body was curled into a fetal position and her skin was cool to the touch, as it often would be when fast asleep. She had a peaceful expression on her face as of a girl in the safety of her mother's arms. It was only after she was gone that I realized just how much she'd meant to me and how much Naomi meant to me as well. That is really sad. I glanced at my watch, it was right around 9. Yeah, they were only gone for like a couple hours. I can't even say how long I stood there in front of my house afraid to go in. How could I possibly break the news about Yuka to her parents? Welcome home, Satoshi. Did you get wet out there? You're awfully late, you know. Well, boys will be boys. Once we're at that door, a whole world of possibilities awaits us. That's just as true for girls, you know. Don't be an idiot. Sorry, dear. Dad. Mom. God, lucky you. You're soaked. Dry yourself off before you track up the place. And once you've changed, it's time for dinner, so come right back downstairs, okay? Oh, did they totally forget about Yuka? Right, she was spirited away. I was so dumbfounded by the obliviousness of my parents to Yuka's absence. I completely missed any chance I might have had to tell them what happened. But I couldn't keep it to myself forever either. I collapsed on my bed, trying to figure out the best way to broach the subject. I think in the original he lied about her death, about her being gone. Like, they're like, where's Yuka? And he's like, oh, I think she's still at school. Or something, you know? And then it's like, at this point, he's like, how do I tell him? I don't know that it's like a knock on the door between the two rooms and it's Yuka. Yuka's spirit there to take her, but take him back. When I noticed a tiny box on my desk adorned with a ribbon. Next to the box sat an index card with a message on it to my dear big brother. Yuka, did you leave this here before you came to bring me my umbrella? Mm. Inside the box was another index card. No prize for you. Too bad, but you know what today is, right? It's a big anniversary for the two of us. I've got something very special to give you later. After you get home, that is. Russell, Russell. What was that? Was that door open before? What was that? Yuka's room is connected to mine by a single door, and that's the only way in. To get into a room, you have to go through mine first. And it was from that room, a room that should have been empty, that I heard the sound of something rustling. I figured I could peek in through the keyhole so as not to arouse suspicion, and when I did... Gasp. I saw a very familiar eye looking back at me from the other side. That's creepy. You... 
Big brother, I'm so lonely. Did I somehow get the exact same ending that I did last time? Well... I guess that's it. We're still gonna go through and get all the extra, all the extra endings, all the, um, and we still have all of the, uh, all the extra chapters, right? There's those, there's four of them, except only two are unlocked, which is a little odd. But at least, like, in this one, they kind of... They did mention the whole, like, if they die here, they're spirited away, and people just... It's like their existence is erased. Which... I don't know if I like that. Because it... Kind of... The Gentleman Spirit Shimoda. These must be from all the extra chapters and stuff. Um, because in the original, like, like missing kids and stuff like that, that's a very, like, Stephen King style thing, right? Like the whole, you know, Pennywise, the dancing clown. You know, just every, like, children just go missing. Uh, but in this, it's like, oh, you know, we, we never had... You never had a little sister. I don't know why we have an extra bedroom full of girl stuff. That's kind of weird. Do we get an after credit scene? Achievement unlocked familial bonds. That's a creepy achievement. It's a... It's a keyhole with, like, a... Like, a freaky-looking... Like, ghost eye. So what did that do? Oh! Maybe there's three endings. Let's try... Not... Because we have a few minutes. So let's do... No, we don't want to do this one. We don't. Hang on. We want to do the one... Uh, we want this one. Before she confesses. Or before she lies. We'll just skip all this. And... There's gotta be a way to, a way to save Naomi. It stops here. Trail of blood. Blah, blah, blah. We can't go that way yet. Oh yeah, let's check out that last victim that we got. Uh, teaching idol who received more love confessions from students than paychecks. Alright. We're missing five. Still, I'm not going to go explore the school. Uh, I mean, I suppose one of the endings is us not escaping in time. That could be. It might be worth... Okay, Kishinuma, Kishinuma. No, please. Is he still alive? Sob, why? Why do I have to be all alone? Whale. Oh, oh okay, good. All right, so we're together again. All right. Yoshiki, you get two. She's missing, Miss Yui. All right, well, we can't go back. Or, no, we can. Naomi, please be okay or something. Seiko, Seiko, where are you? So she is... I'll protect you. She's got her own darkening to worry about. Can I... Ayumi. Uh, don't give in. Stricken with the darkening. Go quickly. Fighting her own demons. If she can resist them, she'll be along. 
長あなたがなんだかは Remember, get through to touch her heart. Uh, we'll save. We'll save right here. That's fine. I mean, we're at the end anyway, so. Girk, rotting corpse. Very big brother. Set Sachiko. Don't look at me. Leave. Leave or I'll kill you. Damn it, we're not getting through. Did we see this before? No, we didn't. My name is Shogo Taguchi. I work as Kokobiki's cameraman and general assistant. I've gotten separated from the boss, but I intend to do exactly as I promised him I would. I'll keep filming until the bitter end, no matter what happens. I won't miss a minute. These records will serve to validate my exist- No, don't! What the? It's coming from upstairs. Pant gasp, shudder. We're running out of time on this episode, so I'm going to, uh, want to kind of maybe go a little fast. It's the little girl's room. Who's in there? I need to stay out of sight. I hope I'm able to get this, whatever it is. Oh! Seiko, please don't do this. It's with, uh, Yoshikazu. Wait, what? Oh, he's recording Naomi killing Seiko. Er, my body. We've been paralyzed. See, this is a little bit more information, right? Because before he was like, we can move again. And I'm like, it, it didn't really go through my, like I didn't pick up on that they were paralyzed. You know, but here they're mentioning it. Last time they didn't, so. We've been paralyzed. I can't move. Oh god, is everybody alright? It might explain how Yuka gets injured as well. My ears! My ears! Big brother, Hick, save me! Oh. Ack! Yuka! Yuka, god, I can't even turn my body to look at her. Are we all frozen like this? Oh, what are you doing to me? Sachiko stabs Yuka. Okay, that, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, oh, stop, please. Yuka, what's happening? Sachiko, you bitch, leave her alone. Mochida, get on with it quickly. Get on with, ah, right, because there's two Sachikos. Hurry, okay. Naomi, please, don't do this. Naomi! Two girls, one's on a bucket with her hands tied behind her back and a rope around her neck? No, no, please, Naomi, wake up. Naomi, Naomi. Oh. Gag, choke, squirm. Naomi. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Is that why he saw Naomi and then ran? I wonder if this is what actually happened. She just kicked the bucket away. My god, this is a murder. But the shoes were placed. Ah, uh, gah. Ah, uh, what the hell did I just see? Oh, is that Yoshikazu behind him? Huh? Oh no, that's Naomi. Ah. Uh. Well, he can run. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Ah, uh, help, save me! Let's go. 
Sachiko, this is yours. It's part of your body that was taken from you. We're... Things aren't... Because Yuka is no longer covered with blood on the ground, you know? So it's like... I think we're... Things aren't lining up properly. The You know, getting rushed, I assume, probably. But, but it's okay. Sachiko, this is yours. Part of your body that was taken from you. Open your eyes, please. Offer Sachiko's tongue. Also, there's no other little Sachiko. Yes. Offer Naho's notebook. No. Mommy, you promised. Your mom. Black Cat Plushie. Yes. Mini DV. No. Who? Where's Mommy? Where am I? I can move again. Does that mean it's working? Right. And then she goes crazy. And here's Naomi. Naomi. Come on, everyone. Take out your paper doll scraps. Okay. Got it. All right. So now we need to do it six times. Okay, Sachiko, here, please. We want to go home. That's what charms really are. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then one for Sachiko. Don't chant. Charm complete. <sighs> pant, pant, you all got, you guys, Yuka, Naomi, is everyone all right? It's okay, it's nothing serious. Ayumi, thank you. Yuka, we did it. Satoshi, glad you're okay. What happened with Shinohara? I'll tell you later. Oh, uh, okay. Yuki. Now is your only chance to escape. Complete the ritual. So what's gonna happen? Okay. No. Yep, there she goes. Whoa! Eek! Come on, let's get going. Going where though? There's no real exit to this place. Covered walkway, maybe? Alright, let's go. Let's go! We are going to try and obviously escape as quickly as possible. No need to go in there. Bell tolls, sounds like a grandfather clock, something like that. Um, oh, I was like, oh, am I going to make it? The answer is no. Student ID name tag, which we already got. Bell tolls again. Yeah. Alright, so that was the correct way. And then I think we go this way. And then up. Alright. Third toll. For whom the bell tolls, it tolls for the... Yeah, let's just drop quickly so that we can. Although it might actually be faster to not. Fourth toll. Now hopefully nobody dies and hopefully we all make it. That would be great. I mean... Hopefully, the, none of the original five die. Let's put it that way, because we've already lost four people. Fifth toll. Here we go. We can continue on from here. All right, everybody, over the railing. We made it. All we have to do. All right, all present. Let's go. All right, okay. Please work, please work, please work. Hold tightly to your Sachiko scrap. Don't let go. Oh, right on. We don't have to climb over the railing. Or, well, you know. And then Yuki becomes the new Sachiko. That's kind of messed up. Hmm. Uh, huh? Okay, we're going over an hour, but whatever. This is presumably the best ending. Uh, 
and everybody's like groaning as they wake up. Except Yoshiki, because he's a boss. Whoa, whoa, are we? We are. We're home. Big brother, Yuka. We really made it. Yuki, thank you so much. And so, the five of us who survived the ordeal were able to return to Kisaragi Academy to the real world in our own time. For a while, we were all just so happy to be home and to be alive. We were overjoyed. But it didn't take long before the grim reality of what happened wiped the smiles off our faces. Miss Yui, Shinohara, Morishige, and Suzumoto. They weren't with us anymore. Well, be careful on your way home, okay? I will. Goodbye. Later. Wait, before you all go... Hmm? Don't stay home tomorrow. Come to school, please. Okay. Yeah, how do you... What do you do now? I didn't think I'd be able to sleep that night after all the things I'd seen. But I wound up sleeping like a rock. Next morning, it was with heavy hearts that we all trudged toward a school devoid of Miss Yui and the others, yet fate still had one more sick twist in store for us. Presumably, they're all forgotten. Shinohara, Morishige, am I supposed to know who you're talking about? Our homeroom TA's name is Matsudo. You still have a sleep or something? Oh, so it's like they're erased from existence. A transfer? Are we getting someone new in here? It's like as if they never existed. Ah. Oh. It was like the four people who died in that school had never existed to begin with. No, this isn't right. How can no one else remember any of them? All those times we've spent with Seiko and the others, am I just supposed to accept that none of that really happened? Yeah, so what's going on with Seiko's family? Miss Yui, Suzumoto, Morishige, and Shinohara, are you telling me they only exist in our memories now? That's just beyond cruel. Still absorbing innumerable souls and ingesting the thoughts of innocent boys and girls. Heavenly Host Elementary stands firm, with a newly appointed Sachiko at its core. There are those precious few who survived, those who lost their lives, and those who were overcome by the dark curses therein. And among them all are the spirits of those who are wronged, bearing an unimaginable pain and endlessly searching for a respite from their sadness. For a place to call home. Chapter 5, End. So... Guess that's the best one. Is he gonna confess his feelings? Sorry to call you in here like this, Satoshi. Oh, it's not a problem at all. What's up? There's something I want you to see. Here. Huh? Isn't that... Is this the video? It is. It's that unsent text message from Shinohara I showed you. Her phone still exists. Well, but then again, I guess they were outside the normal... The restructuring of time. Yeah. I need to tell you something. I killed... Seiko. So, it was you? Seiko couldn't move, but instead of saving her, I put a noose around her neck. You don't remember any of it? When I saw that scene play out, my mind just shut down. I couldn't think at all, and a black mist began forming around me. I was slipping away. I didn't care either. Nothing mattered to me anymore. I would have welcomed death. Uh, Seiko, Seiko! I... I... God, no! So I wonder if... Because presumably Naomi could go crazy here. 
Seiko, I wish I could take it back. Yeah. Sob, sob. The darkness had begun seeping into every pore. My body was... My body was... Body was pitch black. I was right on the verge of losing consciousness. Excuse me, and then... She got a text message? Huh? Mm. This is that text message. Why am I receiving it now? Well, it was unsent. Right? So such goes ghost sent it. Hmm. Doesn't matter. I don't even want to live anymore. Living is too painful. I'm sure Seiko must have died hating me. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's just nothing left to live for. Another text message? It's the same message. Seiko, are you trying to tell me something? She must be spamming me. <laughs> She's probably furious. No, there's no way she's not mad at me. We had such a huge fight. She can't possibly forgive me. Especially not after what I did to her. Seiko, there's no excuse for my actions. And the text is just auto-advance again. You... You must hate me, right? You have to hold some kind of grudge, right? Apparently not. Jesus, that's a lot of those. Seiko. And it's in English, too. I'm sorry, or maybe it was originally in Japanese and they just localized it. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm almost out of coffee. I love you, Seiko. I love you. Hey, Seiko, she... She really existed, didn't she? She really did spend all that time with us, right? She did. She was real, Naomi. Miss Yui and the others, too. I can't stand the thought that I'll never see them again. Sob, just one last time. I just want to talk to Seiko one last time. I know you do. Corpse party. True end. Still dark. The fear continues in Corpse Party, Book of Shadows. Well, yeah, I guess that's the sequel, right? To the... To the PSP version, which I think this is. Blood Covered. I, I can't remember, there was like two... If I'm remembering right, there's the PSP stuff, which is this, and then there's the, uh, the PC. It's, it's kind of a mess as far as continuity, but... Basically just, uh, you know, evil school. Kinda weird. It's like the school chooses a new master. Hmm. 
I wonder what you do now. Like, would it even be possible to... Okay, well... So there's a there's another continuity error, right? Because as soon as Naho died, Naho's blog should have gone away. So they should have never been able to go to the school in the first place because Ayumi saw the thing on Naho's blog. Because if it erases you from history itself, then she never existed, then she never could have uh had a blog in the first place. It's kind of the problem. You know, it's still a good game. All right, so that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys enjoyed these episodes. Uh, Achievement Unlocked, No Hard Feelings, which looks like uh, Naomi and Seiko, except Seiko's a ghost and they're kind of embracing. So that's cool. Uh, all right, so next time, like, that's the true end. Let's just take a look real fast. Uh, yep. But, still, maybe, maybe you unlock these by doing these. Hard to say. Uh, but that is it for today. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I really hope you guys, uh, enjoyed these episodes. Like, seriously. And yeah, we went over... Uh, just like with the original Corpse Party, actually, we went over the hour mark as well because I got so... I could have stopped. I could have stopped at the 50-minute mark or whatever, but I was like, ah, I want to see it. I want to see what happens. Um, so we're, we're going to keep going. We're going to try and get all the extra... There's still the extra chapters to do. There's all the other wrong ends. And that's what we'll do next time. So what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me... Hmm. Yeesh, I need more coffee. Um, for me, it was the fact that I'm not on call today. They actually called me to come in, and I'm like, no, I cannot. I'm on... I was on yesterday, I'm on tomorrow, but not today. I don't know how they messed that up. It's like the schedule's there. You can just look at it. Uh, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care. <laughs>